about the length test. This is the way to test one side of the external thoracic lumbar fascia from the other to determine if one of them is shorter. Okay? Now, we already discussed the fact that between the L4 and the L2 segment, the thoracic lumbar fascia on, uh, and the latissimus dorsi on one side is continuous through the thoracic lumbar fascia with the gluteus maximus on the other side, correct? We talked about that myofascial swing. So this latissimus dorsi continues with the contralateral gluteus maximus. Okay? So if I get her to put her arms in front of her, and I want to test this fascial swing, so if I get her to rotate this way, put your arms like this. Okay? If I get her to rotate this way, Okay, you see that she has a lot of rotation, she can go almost to 90. Okay? So that's really testing the length right now of the latissimus as well as the thoracic lumbar fascia here. If I get her to cross her right leg over her left, like this, I'm now tensioning the gluteus maximus on this side. And I'm going to get her to rotate again, and I'm going to see that there's less of a, a rotation. It's considerably less. Why? That's because now I've taken another layer of that fascial sling and I've added it to the mix. So now she has to uh, try to go even through more tension. Does that make sense to <laughs> everybody? Okay. So if I do that on the one side and then put her back down, and now I'm going to test the other side. So I'm going to get her to go this way. So now she, on this side she can go even further. Okay. Now I'll get her to cross her leg again, and now I'll test over here. Since she's not bad. But what that tells me is that she has more tightness in the thoracic lumbar fascial sling between the latissimus and the contralateral glute max when you're rotating this way. So when I'm testing this person, if you give yourself a hug, I'm going to want to do ro ro rotation into this plane to try to find fascial restriction. And I want to follow that fascial restriction right down into the contralateral glute maximum. Does that make sense? That's the posterior thoracic lumbar fascial length test.